Right, the players have gone. Most of the journalists have gone. They've brought the boards down. The they're try they're trying gone. to get us out of here. And most of the good journalists have gone. And most importantly, the summer's gone. The season's back up, back upon us. Atletico Madrid have just won the European Super Cup. The weekends are gone. But their manager, the European Super Cup, I lie, the Spanish Super Cup, their manager says they cannot win the league again. First well, of all, for how, how, weird, how weird is it that we're going into a, a, a season in which, say, the league champions won't be the league champions? <laughs> that doesn't happen anywhere else, does it? No. Uh, is, he, is he right? But, but, but it was a miracle. Uh, and we, we have okay, we, 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 we oh. have to realize that I mean uh, uh, you, you said it uh, Simeone said that in a 100 points league it's impossible for Atletico de Madrid to achieve a league title and, and, and that's the point that uh, Diego Simeone wants to to acknowledge mm. uh, yeah, I, but when he says that they are competing with uh, Sevilla well, and okay. Bilbao in yeah. which case I'm going I'm to give him that Atletico Madrid are competing with Sevilla, Valencia and Bilbao, but in the same way that Atletico Madrid were competing with Real Madrid and Barcelona, with a huge advantage over no, those And also ones. they spend a lot, lot of money. 100 million? One, yeah, 100 okay. million. So that's, that's the problem. I think that they are in the middle. They are not competing with Barcelona and Real Madrid, and they are not <laughs> they are competing in, in with Atletico Madrid. They don't have right, a league. And here they are, they stuck They don't in have the anyone to compete with, because yeah. they're, they're, they're uh, space in the, in the budget of all the teams no one has that budget from the lower teams, from the teams yeah. that are playing for, for your, your Europa League or, or the third uh, place in Champions League. Is, and Real Madrid and Barcelona are is away. That, yeah. is, that, is that a reason to believe then that maybe they can win the league? Because in the league you only have to play Madrid and Barcelona twice each. So maybe they are so much better than everyone else that actually their points total will be huge, even if they're not yeah, exactly, that good. Exactly. So maybe they will get close. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, yeah, because Simone does the contrary. He says the contrary. He says, I oh, know, in a league of uh, 38 yeah, yeah. games, we cannot win, but against all the others, they can win. And also, you know what he says is, ah, oh, we didn't, um, we spent because we sell, we we sold a lot, of, lots of players. Yeah, but they spent one million. And, and anyway, every team does that. Last exactly. year, for example, Real Madrid, yeah. Real Madrid signed yeah, Gareth exactly. Bale, and they got to sell Osil. This idea that they sold Osil because they didn't want him. This they year, Barcelona, they, they sold uh, Fabregas and Sanchez. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, what what is uh, unbelievable is that uh, right now, one of the most important players in the World Cup and. Probably the, one of the most important players of La Decima will leave the club, exactly. will leave Real Madrid. Angel Di Maria. It, it's yeah. impossible. Yeah, exactly, uh, and this will will upset. Explain Real me Madrid. why. Why in the world <laughs> they call Carletto Angelotti the peacemaker? Because every because every since he started. <laughs> That's good. That's really good, actually. That's not actually no, fair you know because what he's not doing it. He no, is exactly. the peacemaker. He's the one that, that, that provides no, harmony. Peace. They don't and let now, him bring the peace. Yeah, exactly. He brought peace and now it's war again. Not war. And okay, yes. but, but I don't understand, for example, why he doesn't say yesterday, uh, the day before this game, the Super Cup, the, the last game of the Super Cup, Casillas is the goalkeeper. Why? I mean, it's creating so much, so many rumors and so much noise. Yeah, but uh, Keylor Navas didn't play tonight. I think he will, because uh, yeah, will also, be there. I, I, you know what? I think there's another thing, though. I, I think I think Angelotti is, is trying to indirectly say to journalists, look, I'll tell you when I decide. You're not going to bu yeah, bully okay. me into this. Okay. And last year, a really abnormal situation with two goalkeepers, he actually handled it brilliantly. He managed yeah. to make it feel almost normal. Yeah, yeah. but back to Di Maria, uh, you know, they, the problem is, he didn't ask for James Rodriguez. No. And they bought him, and they bought him for 80 million. So now, I think he understands that Di Maria has to go. Otherwise, Di Maria plays, and James is on the bench, and there is a problem. What is unbelievable is that Gareth Bale was signed two years ago, but for the previous season, and, and Real Madrid had already someone there, you know, at that position. Yeah, they needed exactly. another kind of, yeah. another profile of player. This year, same thing. Exactly. Uh, we didn't I mean, talk about Barcelona. What do you think? They changed a lot. Uh, so it's, it's Luisino, despite Simone it's, it's, saying it's difficult, it's difficult to judge change. what's going to happen with Barcelona, isn't it? Because it's so many changes. Um, I think they'll be much better than last year. I actually think they will be really quite good this year. Yeah. I, 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 it's a lot of change to assimilate, but I think they'll be really quite good. Despite this year. that, they have to wait two or three months for Suarez. Uh, I and don't know. Uh, the, the, the problem, see, is that you have to wait for a, for a player that. Uh, is expected to be one of the key players of yeah. the season. Yeah. First, second, you don't know how Messi will be. Yeah, and also uh, this is this Suarez is a, is a big, nine. big question mark. Well, how uh, is Messi going to be? I don't From know. To, to be honest, be? I don't know. Messi played the last year. Messi played for Barcelona was his worst year in the fi last five. 
but it was still better. And, okay. was and then you have Neymar and Suarez. Do you think the three can play together without uh, only with one ball, or they need three it's or two? Positionally, positionally, it's difficult, isn't it? Positionally, because yeah, they take because up the same space. They never. It's a long time they don't have a number nine. Mm. Where, where will you play Macherano, for example? Exactly. That's another. I think he's going to be a centre back, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know. After I mean, he World played Cup. awful last season as a centre back, yes. yeah. and in the World Cup he played amazingly yeah, in the in the place that belongs to Sergio Busquets. So then you drop Busquets, you play two central midfielders. I think the signs are. Or you are bring Di Maria to Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be interesting. <laughs> would be so very we, interesting. So we can indeed. leave with this question, I think, because it's five minutes. <laughs>